Our topic today will be magnetic effect of an electric current. That is our topic today. Of course, uh, we know about uh, the magnetic field that we have learned previously from, uh, that is the magnetic field of, uh, of a magnet. Uh, so in this case, we'll be looking at now the magnetic field pattern uh, of, a, of a solenoid. So uh, today's subtopic will be magnetic field pattern of a solenoid. So that is our topic today. Uh, of course, we need to know what a magnet, uh, what a solenoid is. Yeah. So and of course, uh, we we know that uh, a solenoid is a wire that is carrying current, and it is glued into a long cylindrical coil. So you can see it is up uh, on the screen. It is a wire that is wound into a long cylinder coil. And of course, uh, we know that uh, we, we know what loops are. So it means that uh, uh, interconnected loops, when you connect them together, they form what you term as a solenoid. So a series of interconnected loops that are carrying current is what you term as a solenoid, so you can see it on the screen. So we'll be looking at the magnetic field pattern that is formed in a solenoid. So before we uh, will be able to uh, to get the same, we are going to to require operators uh, to do the uh, a, a small demonstration. So in these operators, we'll be required to have a solenoid, a source of current, a switch, interconnecting wire, that is connecting wires, and also magnetic uh, compass needles. So those are the items that will be required. And in our groups, uh, we are supposed to uh, to have those particular items so that we connect, uh, we'll be able to connect uh, the, the apparatus as shown. So we have uh, the apparatus as shown, we connect them. That is, we connect uh, a solenoid to a circuit. And of course, uh, uh, closer to the solenoid, we put at various points, we put the magnetic uh, needles. So we put the magnetic needles and uh, around the solenoid. So then we're going to do a, a short video so that we'll be able to see uh, what happens when uh, we have uh, connected the solenoid into a circuit. Yeah. So I want us to be attentive and watch uh, a clip over the same so that we observe what happens. So, uh, so look at the video. Yeah, look at the video. So, uh, as we play the video, I want you to carefully look at it. Yeah, so that is the video. As a solenoid and around it, are uh, interconnected uh, loops. And of course, around it is um, a magnetic uh, fields, uh, not magnetic fields, but uh, magnetic uh, compasses. So these magnetic compasses, when we put them uh, around the solenoid, they are facing one direction. They are facing one direction. So you see, look at those needles, they are all facing one direct direction. Whenever we put the power on, observe, power on, they deflect. And they follow a particular pattern. Uh, as they, they, they are following that particular pattern, yeah, it, it implies that there is something that is compelling them uh, to, to follow that pattern. Yeah, 
But when the power is off, they align themselves in a specific direction. But when the power is on, they align themselves in a good, a specific pattern. So it means that there is something that is compelling them to, uh, to, to of course, align themselves in that direction. So we need to uh, analyze uh, what we have seen. First, when, uh, when the power was uh, put on, we, we of course know that uh, because a compass needle deflects, yeah, it means that if the North Pole deflects away from the compass needle, then it means that there is a polarity that is similar to that of the North Pole. So it means that there is a polarity that has been created because of the current moving through the, soleno, through the solenoid. So uh, it means that if there is a polarity of the North Pole pushing away uh, the, the magnetic needle from one side so that it deflects away, the North Pole deflects away, then it means the, the South Pole is on the opposite, is on the opposite side. So it means, uh, uh, it means that uh, uh, the, the, the solenoid forms a magnetic field. Yeah, it forms a magnetic field. And this magnetic field has a direction. It has a north pole and it moves to the south through the outside of, through the outside of, uh, of uh, the solenoid. So then it means the end that reflects away the north pole of uh, a compass needle is a north pole while the other end that reflects away the south pole of the compass needle is a south pole. Yeah, so then it means a solenoid has a north pole and also it has a south pole. And of course, from uh, the clip that you have, that you have seen, the magnetic pattern that is created is like that of is like that a permanent magnet, yeah? The North Pole of the permanent magnet will deflect away the North Pole of a compass needle. The same case as that of, um, uh, of, uh, of uh, a solenoid. It will be able to, to ensure that the North Pole has been reflected away, deflected away, and the South Pole has been repelled away. So due to the repulsion, you get that we are able to get a magnetic pattern that is like that of a permanent magnet, which of course has the following properties. That is, the magnetic field is stronger at the, at the poles. It is stronger at the poles. And two, that the magnetic field moves from the north through the outside to the, to the south. That is great, like that of a permanent magnet. So it means that a solenoid behaves like a permanent magnet, and that's why we call it as an electromagnet. So it is an electromagnet, yeah? So we, we have the rules, two rays in which we can be able to predict at the North Pole, that is the polarities of a solenoid. One is by use of uh, the right hand grip rule, and also the second is uh, the clock rule. The right hand grip rule uh, states that if a current carrying coil is held in the right hand with the fingers pointing in the direction of the current, then the thumb will point in the direction of the no of the north. Where is your right hand? Yeah, that is our right hand. So if you assume that you are holding a current carrying coil in your right hand with the fingers pointing in the direction of the current, then the thumb will point in the direction of the, no, of the north. So it means that this is a, the fingers as they encircle the, the, the loops, that is the loops of, that are making the solenoid, then the thumb will point to the, no, to the north. So that is the right hand rule. The clock rule as a second way of predicting the polarity of a solenoid. When uh, we imagine that, yeah, 
when we imagine that the direction that is when you look at the solenoid from one end and uh, observe that the current current is uh, moving in the clockwise direction yeah look at that yeah when it is moving in the clockwise direction yeah like that the current as it moves up then it passes uh, through the goes through the loops round round so if you look at that and you look that it is moving in the clockwise direction then it means that side is a south is a south pole and if it is uh, anti clockwise then that end is a north pole is a north pole yeah so that is uh, the clock rule that is if the direction of the current in the coil as observed from one end is clockwise then the other end is a south is a south pole if it is anti clockwise then that end will be will be a north pole so that is the two ways we can be able to predict the polarity of a solenoid so we can be able to conclude that a solenoid has a north pole and a south pole and its magnetic field moves from the north pole to the south pole through the outside of through the outside of what of that solenoid so it moves from the north to the south to the inside north to the south inside north outside south inside north outside south so that is how the magnetic field is created so it is stronger in the middle and at the ends and the weaker at the outside stronger in the middle and weaker at the outside Up to that point, who has that question? Who has question? <laughs> Yeah, so that is it for today and uh, welcome you for another class that is uh, from today and uh, have a, a nice day. Thank you.